they were trying to jump me and I was fighting them back. <laughs> Yeah, I'm to bananas with you all nowadays. It's your boy Brown. I'm back with another video. And today's video is going to be another story time. Now, listen. Since the story time is my first fight, I just want to say these two things real quick. One, if somebody's talking to you or bullying you, if they just talk and miss that they came back up, don't even acknowledge them, cause not, they're not even worth worth your time. At the end of the day, you gonna stunt on them, and they're gonna be sitting there doing the same thing, looking the same way. But if they, but if they are starting to hit you, fight back, cause I'm not gonna be like, oh, violence is not that. Look, if somebody's hitting you, you need to fight back. You can't let just let nobody sit up there and fight you, cause but but that's only if they hit you first. Don't go hitting nobody first saying that that's self-defense because that's just wrong. Now, my second thing. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Well, I mean, y'all can comment if y'all want to. I'm not going to force y'all to do nothing y'all don't want to. But just please like and subscribe because, look, I be telling my stories and y'all not, you know, comment, subscribing, and liking. What am I going to do? Cause I'm just putting my heart on the table, and y'all ain't y'all ain't showing it back. Y'all ain't showing no feelings, or emotions back. But let me get into the story, okay? So I was like eight or nine, I think. Yeah, I think it was. Either way, I was like in the second grade, second or third. And this was at school. Yes, it was. And there was these kids. I'm on. There was like three or four kids. We're going to name the head of the group, Joe, and until I can find some other names for the other people. But look, Joe, he would always have a problem with me. Like, I don't know why, because like the first like half, like the first like half quarter of the year, we were not, we were friends. Like, we're not friends, but we didn't hate each other. Like, we was nice to each other and everything. But one day, he just started hating on me. And I didn't know why, and I still don't know why to this day. To this day, I don't know why he didn't. He started being mean to me, and it, like it was just like a. It wasn't just like something that happened one day. It was like a bunch of things, like him talking about me, which I didn't. Pro he didn't that. I didn't let that stuff get to me. But he would talk about me. He would talk about my friends, my family, and I wouldn't let it paint on my eyes me because. Cause what what he gonna do? What he gonna do? The more hurts. Yes, words do sting. But he was just saying some dumb stuff that didn't even stick with me. I forget half stuff he said to this day. For well, most of it, really. But yeah, he would just be so mean and start stuff and fight people. Now he now we was on the playground one day. Mm-hmm. Let me let y'all look the other lay out. So we would come in from the back, and then like right here there was, a, there was like a, bas a basketball court. Right here it was like some swings and like a whole like grassy area. Then over here, like to the right, it was like it was like swings and like a climbing thing and everything. And there was like a little grass area back here. Now we was over in the basketball uh, area. I was playing around with my friends. Well, no, hold on, because, <laughs> let me say this real quick. I had friends in there, but I only had, like, a few friends. And they really couldn't fight. No, I mean, this day, because I had three or four friends. Yeah, it was three. Two of them was absent that day. And here comes, uh, Joe with his, uh, with his friend and his brother. We're gonna name his uh brother Mike and his friend Paul or something. So Joe, Mike, and Paul come up to me talking mess, like and they had me cornered like by the fence, because there was a fence like where the basketball was. Well, the whole area like of the bat of the uh playground was fenced besides like a like a wall that was just a school. Now, they came up to me talking mess. And I just walked away. They kept on following me. I'm walk and I walked away. 
Then they started roasting me, and I started roasting them back. I said, <laughs> that's why your head shit like a box. That's why uh, your shirt dirty with that toothpaste on it. Like, we were just roasting. Then I forgot what he said to me, but it had made me mad, and I said something back. And then they started telling me some, oh, you trying to fight, you trying to fight, you trying to fight, da, da, da. And I kept on walking away. And I'm just, and I'm like, I don't want to fight you. You too ugly. <laughs> and you was a waste of my time. I'm not going to let you sit up here and fight me. Because this is a waste of my time. And you could, <laughs> goodbye, you like a fly. But yeah, I'm just walking away from them. And then they cornered me. They cornered me by the fences. And then, like, they started talking about something. Oh, you trying to say this much? You trying to fight? Da, da, da. And I said, I'm, Joe, I'm not trying to fight you. I could care less about you or your two dusty friends. Well, your dusty brother and your dusty friend. Then I guess that set him off because he started hitting me. And I started hitting him back. And I was winning. I was like, Bye-bye. And then his friends started hitting. And they were jumping me, y'all. They were jumping me. And I was fighting them back. Like, I was, I was tired of this. Because it's like, y'all been doing this stuff for so long, I've been having to deal with y'all bullcrap for months now, for at least four or five months. And once he started hitting me, I started throwing hands because I was mad. And once I get mad and I started throwing hands, you don't want these problems. You don't want these problems. Yeah, they started hitting, ganging up on me, and they were, and one, and both of them had my arms. And then, see, this made me mad because this was my crush. But see, this fine on me crushing on nobody no more. Because they just a waste of time and a waste of uh, time that you can't get back. But she was talking about some, oh, you not gonna fight them. You can't fight them back. You weak. My brother could be all them on hip with they pink with his thumb. And then the teachers come over. They separate us. They take me and Joe to the office because, uh, Mike and Paul, they scattered. They scattered like. And we had went in there. We went to the front office where where the principal was. We got to run on the principal for at least like 20, 30 minutes. And we just sitting there like. Like we just meet on each other. But then I realized how ugly he was. And I looked that way like. And once uh, we got in the office. We, we had sit down with the principal and like this office, it was just like one big table and like a po poster and a printer. So we were just sitting there like looking at, we just sitting there and the principal like, okay, so why y'all sitting up here fighting and wasting time? I said, I didn't do nothing. He was sitting here trying to fight me and da 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 da. And he gives his uh, side of the story because he has the principal has for both our sides of the story. So he started giving his. So um, John started getting his uh part of the story. And the principal had listened to him. He was like, "Well, y'all both in the wrong." Da da da. And I told the guy about how uh Joe, I mean Mike and Paul, get try to gang up on me. And he yeah uh and he had called them in and they gave them their two sides. Then I told him how my crush came in and she was saying that stuff. She said, see this made me mad because she was up here talking about some excuses. She said, oh, I was saying that stuff to motivate him. And I told her, I said, in front of everybody in the principal, I said, so you mean to tell me you over here doing all, saying all that mess, but you couldn't get a teacher or nothing? Couldn't get a teacher. Because I'm going to be real. Everybody was getting some good punches and I was getting good punches on everybody. They was getting good punches on me. And I, and I was winning for the first half, but then once they started getting up on me, I started losing like anybody else. But I was fine back. But anyways, she said that, and I was like, <sighs> but yeah, after uh, the teacher got, I mean the principal got all sides of the story, he called up my dad, he was like, hey, your son got to a fight today, you got, uh, you gotta come up here and pick him up. He's suspended. And that was my first ever time getting suspended. And I was suspended for like a week or two. And as bad as getting suspended is, I don't know why I was happy. Because look, I ain't gotta deal with, with these with these stank breath teachers. I ain't gotta deal with nobody kids. I ain't gotta deal with these I ain't gotta deal with no schoolwork. So it was just a break for me. 
and my dad was like, hey, yeah, he was, cause he was on the, cause I heard him a little bit on the phone, he was like, he was like, why am I son getting in trouble? And he was just doing self-defense. And the teacher was like, I mean, the principal was like, it was bad either way, so he shouldn't be fighting. And anyways, he picked me up from uh, school, my dad. And he was like, he was like, you know, I hope you're not starting fights. Because if you start starting fights, I'm going to whoop you. And I told him the whole, the whole story that I told y'all now. And he was like, wow, they really going to do that. That is some book BS. And I was like, you, you sure is right? You sure is right? <laughs> like, see, that was on a spiritual level that day. But yeah, that's, that's the end of the story. Cause I could say some stuff about uh, Joe. Because <laughs> the crazy thing is, my, uh, no, it was like a month or two later. Because by my school, there's a gas station. And me and my dad would always stop by that gas station and get snacks and stuff. And my dad had went there. And he had saw them at the school. I mean, at the gas station. And he was like, uh, it was it was uh, Joe and Mike, their the brothers. And he and the and I think their granddad or their dad was there. And my dad was like, hey, y'all need to start trying to fight my son. And then my dad said, my, said that their dad was like, oh, that's just kids fighting. And my dad was like, no, that's not how kids. No, he said that's what kids are like playing around. My dad's like, that's not playing around. That's them trying to hurt people. You need to take care of your uh, of your little grandmas over here before I have to do, before I have to step in. And I guess they didn't say nothing after that. And then, oh, this made me real mad. Okay, so I know it's like a side tangent real quick, but I just gotta say this because I want to give y'all all the details. After uh, this was one day like a, a month after that. My nanny had picked me up, which, like I told y'all my last story time, my nanny is what I call my grandma, and my nanny, she had, uh, picked me up from school one day because my dad was stuck at work. And, at my school, you could either be a bus, bus person or a car rider, and I was a car rider, and they would have to call you out to be like, you, you like, and they would give you numbers for this, like, number 50, go to, uh, the, the blue cone, and, like, there will be a teacher there. And it, one day, my uh, nanny had picked me up, and she was, uh, like, sitting there talking with the uh, teacher, like, yeah, that this is about my uh, grandsons, I mean, my grandson, and then, Joe and Paul came up to the uh, window, and, uh, I mean, came up to that uh, cone, because I guess they was called it that cone, and I guess they ever heard them, and that was sticking their nose in, in nobody, in they big, not in their business. Dang, this thing got me mad. It got me so mad, I'm starving. And yeah, they were sitting there talking about some, uh, well, he the one starting fights, calling people, uh, and da da da. And my, uh, me was like, don't you be trying to fight my grandson or gang up on him, because I will call to the school, and then you, then you, uh, get suspended. And I think she, I forgot what she said yesterday, but I remember her saying something else, and then we sped off. But yeah, that's the story talking about how I got into my first fight, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Look, like I said at the beginning of this video, though, don't let nobody hit on you. But if they is talking mess, either talk to, call your parents, t tell your parents, or tell your teachers. I'm starting to get heated all over again. Like I just said like a few seconds ago, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.